All right, today we need lots of dirt, and I mean enough dirt to cover a whole mountain. But before we do that, if you could make sure you're subscribed, I'd very much appreciate it. You can always unsubscribe later. And now, let's get into a time lapse of gathering dirt. Okay, now that we have the dirt, we can start to build up the land and the grass that will go on top of the mountain and the Grinch's layer or house will go inside of the finished mountain. So there'll be a door right there and then once inside, let me get some more fireworks, once inside we'll have a huge cave and make it into the Grinch's home from the the Grinch movie so let's get to it Okay, now that we got all the terraforming done, like the grass on the top, and we got this little bridge made, I'm just going to show you kind of like a close-up view. So, first here we have kind of a land bridge. It's not, I don't know, I, I just made it, just thought it would be cool, because I kind of want to have a, a walkable pathway up there, so you can't, you don't need to fly up to the Grinch's house, so you can just walk. So I made this huge land bridge. I think it's, I think it looks pretty nice. Um, I don't know. I, I, I probably need to decorate it some more, but still working on that. Alright, now let's move on to the actual pathway to get up there. So you'll come up the land bridge. There will also be kind of a, a pathway. It'll probably be made out of like spruce wood or something. I'm not too sure yet, but you'll come into the mountain. I'm going to make kind of a cave system around here. So you'll walk up these stairs and then you'll exit all the way up here so you kind of went into a cave and then you come out there'll be a little pathway here and I'll, I'll have to put like guardrails and everything and then I'm gonna put the Grinch's door right here in this spot right here and then we'll make his house and then everything else so it'll be really cool and then I'll show you the grass top now I just did this to put it up here this is not gonna be the final product because it doesn't look very good right now like if we fly this way it looks very man-made it doesn't look like Minecraft if you look at this it's it's now it looks a lot more natural and then when you come up here this looks very man-made and blocky so I'm gonna fix that but it's not gonna be like an immediate fix because really the only thing you'll want to see I'm just gonna make the edges look a little nicer with the grass kind of overhang it because really the only angle you're gonna see it from is down here so you won't even be able to see like this will probably be the best angle you'll get right here so you, I wanted to make that look good right there because you're gonna be able to see it but you're not going to be able to really see the back end. Now I'm going to work on the inside of the Grinch's home. So let's get started. 
So I ended off the last clip by saying that I was going to start with the Grinch's home, but if I turn around this way, you can kind of see I've done something else. I've made a sheep farm automatic because I need wool for the, the inside of his mansion or his, not mansion, but cave, lair, whatever you want to call it. I've also decided that based off reference images, I can't really use stone for the inside of his house. I'm going to use like clay and terracotta. So... Most likely, by the end of this episode, I'll only have a few rooms done, and then in the next episode, we'll continue on with the construction of his home. I just wanted to got, update you guys on that, so you didn't get confused why all of a sudden there's just, like, a sheep farm out of nowhere. Alright, I'm gonna go get the clay and terracotta now. Okay, since the last time I talked to you guys, it, it's been a few days, and I've done some work off camera. I did a little bit of infrastructure work, so I could actually build this and continue to build more builds like this so here I'm just gonna show you a few a few decorations that I've done it's not complete but this is the start of the Grinch's house so if we come in here uh, clearly not finished down there looks a bit messy but if we come in here this is what I've got so far so this is his bedroom this is his bed and then I used a data pack that uses armor stands and item frames where you can make them invisible. So I made the item frame invisible and then I used a stone slab so it kind of looks like a drawer. So these actually look really cool. Same on here and then same with the clock. There's an item frame there but it's invisible now. And if we come over here, I actually used armor stands and in the movie he, in his, he has a closet full of pants so I decided to just kind of recreate that. So got a little railing and then his pants are hanging up and it's just a little closet and then he's we got this chair little lamp fireplace and then some just stuff on here and then he kind of has this little like cliff on the edge of his room so I decided to put a few like Christmassy things down here so I put a uh, Christmas tree some kind of like Christmas decorations and in the movie he throws like his radio and clock off so and then I put a little table down here just kind of make it cluttered and that's about it I'll show you guys from this angle I'll, I'll, I'll kind of like stand right here so you guys can I'll put up a picture a side-by-side kind of look at the differences so yeah that's gonna be the end of this episode it's taken a really long time so if you could like the video and subscribe it would really mean a lot to me and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.